Okay, for our last video here on conditional probability, what we're doing is a slightly more complicated example um, where we're looking at um, cards being taken from a deck of 52. So we're looking at two cards being taken from 52. And we're interested in every question about diamonds. So first thing we're looking at is the probability of two diamonds. Second thing we're looking at is the probability of at least one diamond. Then two diamonds given we had at least one diamond. And then probability we've got two diamonds given the first one was a diamond. Now, some of these things may seem like they, they kind of make sense in terms of things like this. There's two diamonds, there has to be at least one. Um, so you may be curious as to where the maths for that one comes from, but it's actually quite interesting to get into it. Uh, this one, a little bit more straightforward um, cognitively, but still takes a bit of work. So because we're dealing with diamonds, and because we've only been talking about one, one scenario here, what we can do, we can turn this into a tree diagram, where we've got... Um, Diamonds or not diamonds? From there, we can also put that into another tree. Uh, we can have another branch. Diamonds or not diamonds? Diamonds or not diamonds? Now, this is where it gets interesting. We know that we've got 13 out of 52 diamonds, and we've got 39 out of 52 not diamonds so we're not putting these cards back so we've got our um, 13 and 52 for one diamond for another diamond it becomes 12 over 51 and over here for a not diamond we've still got 39 not diamonds left but now we've only got 51 cards to choose from so if their first card has been a not diamond then for a diamond, we've still got 13, but it's now out of 51. And for a not diamond, it is 38 out of 51. So that's what we're seeing here. Then to calculate the probabilities, for example, two diamonds, we'd multiply these two. For a diamond, not a diamond, we'd multiply these two. For a not a diamond, diamond, same thing. Now for two not diamonds, we'd multiply these two numbers here. So that's the way we go about finding uh, finding all these different probabilities. So probability of two diamonds, like we're seeing here. So from here we can list our sample space as well. We've got D, D, we've got D, not D, not D, D, and not D, not D. So we're looking at this one. So D and D is 13 out of 52 times 12 out of 51. And that ends up being, let me find my answers. Uh, 1 out of 70. Now, we're looking for at least one diamond. Now, if we're looking for at least one diamond, we look at our um, outcomes. We've got at least one diamond here. We've got at least one diamond here. We've got at least one diamond here. Here, we don't have any diamonds. So what we can do, rather than for multiplying these two, uh, these two, these two, and then adding all three of them up, what we can do, we can just do 1 minus this. So let's say 1 minus those two there. Now, we do that because if it's at least one diamond, well then, it's got to be one less than everything, than um, not having any diamonds. So that's what we got by calculating that. So this ends up being 1 minus 39 out of 52 times 38 out of 51. And from there, we end up with uh, 15 over 34. Okay. Here's where it gets interesting. From here, we've got the probability that we've got two diamonds intersecting with at least one diamond over probability of at least one diamond. So now, we're going to have a look at this. What's our probability that we've got two diamonds and at least one diamond? Also, how do these inter intersect? Where do these overlap? 
We've got two diamonds, we have to have at least one, so this is just the probability of two diamonds. So this ends up being 1 over 17, and then we divide that by what we found here, at least one diamond, 15 over 34. I'm running out of space, so I'm not going to get through the calculations, but you can do all that. Um, now for the next one, same kind of deal. Um, probability that we've got um, two, D, uh, two diamonds, given the first one was a diamond. Well, so then from there, we want to also say we're going, so we're having the probability that we've got two diamonds intersecting with the first being a diamond over the probability of first being a diamond. Now, once again, if they're going to overlap, if we've got two diamonds, and the first one's a diamond, well, then the first one has to be a diamond, so it's just going to be two diamonds again. So this is just going to be 1 over 1, 7. But however, now we're going to try and make it first, um, if you're a diamond is first. Well, if we've got a diamond being first, well that can happen, and then from there we can have a diamond being drawn second, and a non-diamond being drawn second. So to calculate this, what we do is we multiply this by this, and we add it to this times this. So basically we're adding these two probabilities, because that's where our diamond is first. So, we'd say we've got... Um, 13 over 52 times 12 over 51 plus, if it helps, put in brackets, that's our two Ds. Now we're looking at our D and D, uh, sorry, our D and not D. That can happen with 13 out of 52 times 39 out of 51. And once again, I'm not going to go through those calculations. You can do all of those. Um, this has answered the question 12 from uh, exercise 8.3. Um, so that's where you go about doing um, conditional probability where it's a little bit more involved and we can actually use a tree diagram um, here to solve this.